Alright, welcome back to another Akin tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to do a follow up to my last video, on which showed you how to turn off Windows Defender uh, with just a command shell. Now, there's many ways to get a command shell um, using Netcat or PowerShell, which is very, that can be undetectable by any antivirus. Uh, including Windows Defender and especially Windows Defender. Um, I'm going to be using Netcat because um, it's highly undetectable um, and very easy to use. Uh, I'm just going to briefly show you guys a uh, show you guys uh, a few PowerShell scripts um, that I've used in the past uh, to gain access, I'm not going to go over those scripts um, because I have videos on how to do that. Um, but this is just some examples of a PowerShell script um, that will get you inside of Windows uh, with without any effort, even if Windows Defender is on. Um, I also have Netcat scripts, and all of these videos are my. Uh, antivirus FUD payload uh, playlist or on my uh, channel if you just look through you'll see the FUD uh, netcat backdoors um, the FUD uh, PowerShell backdoors and um, exactly how to use them um, here's another one and here's another one Alright, so let's get started with the video. Again, you want to check out how do I turn off Windows Defender um, because once you turn off Windows Defender, it's open season. You'll be able to download any payload you want. You'll be able to use all of Metasploit's um, great backdoors um, that send out signals when the user logs on. You'll be able to put any payload you want on the computer and you can download it straight from your Apache server. So we're going to need to turn on our Apache server. So service Apache to start and uh, I'm just going to quickly generate a payload name payload and this is what will upload to the target system and again I have videos on how to make uh, the MSFN and payloads but um, like I said, it's a follow-up to my previous video, so Windows Defender will be off because I turned it off with uh, this command. Uh, i show you how to use it um, in my How to Turn Off Windows Defender video with just a command shell uh, right here. We'll open that up. And I'll just quickly run through it. I'll just go ahead and do it. So the first thing you'd want to do is turn off Windows Defender. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so we're going to generate a Netcat listener. Um, and then on the victim computer, execute a Netcat payload, which will make a reverse uh, shell in an admin command prompt. Um, so the first thing you want to do is run PowerShell because you need PowerShell for all of these commands. Um, now I'm going to purposely turn Windows Defender on. As you see, I won't lose my shell because this shell is undetectable uh, as far as Windows Defender is concerned. And then you will hear me, you'll hear the notification that I just turned Windows Defender off. So I'll go ahead and do that now with this command. If you set it to false, it will turn it back on. And that was the notification on the victim computer. I have both computers side by side. Um, that Windows Defender is now off. That is the one downside. Uh, the uh, user will get a notification that their antivirus has been disabled, but you can continuously disable it. Um, so now that our payload is generated, uh, we're going to go to our root folder and we're going to go ahead and move that payload to our Apache server. 
Okay, so now that that payload's in our Apache server, we're going to open up the script. We need to download that file from our Apache server. And again, if you want more information on how to turn off Windows Defender, I just quickly went over it here, um, but I have a whole video on how to do that. Sorry, I was drawing a blank there for a second. Now, there's numerous ways you can download scripts with PowerShell. Uh, we're just going to use this one. So I just need to change a few things. So this is what the script, what it's after it's downloaded. This is what the file name is going to be. I like to keep things simple and just name it the same as the file that I'm downloading. But you can change the name once it hits the system. Now this is telling it where to download it from and what file to download. So it's telling it to download payload.exe from this IP address which is my Apache server. Um, you can download files from a website. Uh, but we're just downloading it from our Apache server where we're hosting our payload. So we're going to go ahead and run that script. And as you can see, we got our prompt back, no errors. And just to be sure that the script downloaded, we're going to navigate. Oh, it also saves it in the C drive, in the slash Windows directory, and the slash temp directory. You can change that if you like, uh, but this hides it pretty deep in the computer, and it's a good place to hide it. So we'll, we'll change directory to that. Oops. We'll change directory to that directory using command prompt commands list the contents of that directory and we'll be looking for the payload and right there it is payload exe so that is how you download any payload um, and you and once when like I said once Windows Defender is off you can download any type of Metasploit payload or uh, any type of remote access tool payload, any type of backdoor, anything you want, unless they have some other type of antivirus. But most people only have Windows Defender, so you can turn that off. Also, um, in my previous video, I mentioned that Windows Defender turns itself back on after like a half hour, 20 minutes or so. So you need to know how to add an exclusion path, which is going to be the third video in this little mini series of how to get into uh, initial access into Windows 10 even if it has Windows Defender because not all the time will a phantom evasion payload work or a veil evasion or unicorn payload work um, it might not always work so this is a surefire way you can get into the system so what we did was turn off Windows Defender um, through our command shell Uh, where's that at? So we turned off Windows Defender with our command shell um, using PowerShell. So we entered the PowerShell command, turned off Windows Defender, and then told it to download the payload and place it into uh, the Windows slash temp uh, file. And then we found it down here uh, as payload.exe. So, from here, you could simply hit start.
then if you notice I won't get an error and that would start the payload and if you had a Metasploit multi-handle li listening um, you would get a uh, Metasploit multi-handler um, and then you would have full Metasploit uh, multi-handler access which allows you to take screenshots um, hack the camera, do all of those fun things, add persistence very easily, and all of that good stuff. And you notice it will work because I would have got an error uh, if um, this was a bad command. Like if I had start r.exe, I'm going to get an error. And as you can see, the error popped up. So it will run. Um, I'm sorry I don't have the multi handle listening. I just wanted to keep the video short. Again, I'm going to do another follow up video on this. Um, but that is how you can uh, upload a Metasploit payload um, and turn off Windows Defender uh, straight from a command shell, which is very easy to get and um, very hard to detect in most cases. Hopefully, you found the video informative. As always, have fun, stay safe, and keep hacking. And thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Please keep sharing my videos. Check me out on Facebook. Check out the description for more links on uh, related videos. Peace out.